Alright, exactly with the start of the match, we are here. I uh, just came back from the restaurant and uh, just in time for the grand final. OBS made some slight issue again, but in the second try it worked. So the players are doing the grand final today in the Kenyan solo championship we didn't have. In the Stunde. So, um, so the players will do the grand final now. Up to 120 points, 10, 6, 4, 3 is, uh, are the points for each round, and it's cup mode with finalists. The four players that qualified into this grand final are obviously Meep. We also have Nod, so the typical battle between them, Eric also here, and Ender. And this is the first round, four rounds per map on three maps and played up until 120 points. And then being finalist and then you need to win one more round as a finalist to secure your position. It's definitely a high level match, we didn't have a solo league since a long time. Favorite here obviously Meep. But the rounds will be very tight, so it won't be easy for him to actually win the rounds. However, in this round, he is going into the lead. Slightly ahead of Erik and Ender in third position. Not made a mistake and is currently in last. First place is 10 pointers are very crucial here in this point system. And Meep is taking the victory with a 56.084, you see it in the bottom right or also in the top left in the race rankings. You see that in the Daddy Mania records his record itself is uh, 0.9 and Eric and Helico basically only have the time in the Daddies that Meep just drove. He was just slightly slower, a few thousands. So that was a very dominant first round already. Let's keep the camera on Ender as they approach. I'm gonna make the Twitch chat on. They don't have that yet. Didn't really have time <laughs> to set everything up. So my channel. So from Ender's perspective we nicely see the battle between all three other players and also Ender is on a very good run. But not many turns left to catch up this 10th. He caught up a little bit to Nod and Meep, Eric, the leader, but lost a bit in this turn. Now they are side by side. The last turn here, this wall right will decide who will take the victory. Could be Eric, could be Meep. It is Meep, 9000 ahead of Eric, 300 ahead of Nod, and Ender is getting last with a 56.20. That is crazy. This map here is relatively simple. The only map I drove, because my map match started with it and I drove <laughs> until I uh, didn't get last, I didn't know that we have a new map pack in the last qualification round. Um, but yeah, it was a map that uh, you can learn quite quickly because you have a lot of like auto slides for example here you just jump into and then you have automatically this uh, slide. Then also here, just a nose slide, and again you jump into this corner. This is a standard left uphill drift. The exit is maybe not as standard. But it was quite simple to learn. Also here, you have automatically the angle that you need for this turn due to the jump. Now, Ender again in last position, he's slightly lacking pace on this map, but really just a little bit, it's just this high level that makes it so difficult for him to win rounds. And Meep is winning again with a point zero nine. Eric in second, not in third, and Ender in last, and again he drove a point twenty. And Meep with three wins out of three rounds, incredibly dominant performance. Having the camera on Ender works pretty nicely at the moment. And 
Can we see that he's losing a little bit of time? He's passing Eric, who didn't hit the apex on this corner. But in the lead we have Meep. Not attacking with an inside line, but Meep has a bit more exit speed. And with a nicer line through this corner, he extends his lead now. Ender, however, fighting him for that first place. Now, however, Meep gets a small lead over all the other players. Eric at the moment in last for Ender. Very important to get points, not with a mistake, will be in last. Oh, Meep almost too far outside, but he gets it in with a point 10. Extremely consistent on this map. Ender takes an important second place. Eric in third. Due to Meep winning all the rounds, the other players are obviously still relatively close together, but Eric was doing the best uh, out of the other three. Just didn't really have the opportunity to create a bigger gap to them, as he was denied to get first places. So the next map will be SCL Boost by Larens. One warm up round. And of course a new map means new chances. Maybe uh, this map suits the one or other player better or which the, uh, what the other players might hope. Maybe this map suits me a bit worse than the first map so that the other players have a chance to beat him. As in the warm-up, he is behind Ender and Eric. Not was not really um, showing his usual performance so far in this grand final. In certain team competitions we've seen 1v1 battles between Not and Meep that were high level and Not was definitely stronger than uh, the other players from the teams that drove them in the 2v2 sub match. And in the Endurance Cups, uh, Not was also the only guy that was like able to uh, beat Meep, to challenge him. But so far he didn't really get a good start into this match. Meep has the worst start and not with another mistake. Also, he is usually very consistent as well, but at the moment he's doing a lot of mistakes. It's not as important as maybe in previous seasons where we had a huge prize uh, pool for these cups. Uh, this time it is more like prestige. We don't really have a solo competition um, that often, or yeah, the last ESL solo cups like many years ago. And so it's a lot of prestige here. However, we do not have, uh, also for the team edition, we do not have a big prize money this time. Also not at all, as far as I know. So, Meep seems to be a little bit slow on this map. However, Ender and Eric are strong. And such a first place, Eric again not in first. This time, where Meep is not there, Ender denies him a victory with a point 0.3. Meep has the fastest time the daddies, but he seems to be not as consistent here, does not get that close to his personal best, but we will see how he will perform in the other rounds now. Not again with a mistake, that is very unusual to see, but of course he has a bad momentum right now, which can also ruin further rounds for him. And Eric also with a mistake, and Ender also with a mistake. Multiple mistakes happening in this round. And that's quite lucky of course for me, but also lucky for Ender that he's still in second place. We have a battle between Eric and Mod. They are a bit closer together here. A bit late here in this corner combination. Using more time. Add one more jump into the finish. And Meep will take it with a point 38. He seems to struggle a little bit with a start. He's always a bit behind in the beginning. So 
So Cameron Eric again meet is behind here. That is very consistent in all the rounds. Ender does the first mistake. He's now half a second behind the other players. And without mistakes from their side, there's no chance that he comes back. Maybe someone makes a mistake and he can get third, but that's only one point difference. The big points are of course for first and a bit for second. Meep goes into the lead now. Eric was still not able to win a round yet. Also not didn't do it. Seems now that Eric is doing a decent round. <laughs> Meep is again there, denying him. We don't have many corners left and Meep has the lead. He makes a mistake, but Eric as well. It's incredible. That was the chance for Eric to overtake, and he does the exact same mistake. <laughs> oh, the game doesn't want to win him a round. He's going again into second place due to Ender's mistake. But of course, if you would just look at the 1v1 between Ender and Eric, then most of the rounds, Eric was finishing ahead of Ender. I assume at least. But the fact that Ender has one 10 pointer, of course, makes a big difference. And so they are still close together. Yeah, Meep a bit lucky, winning with a 0.5 only. He definitely struggles on this map much more than on the first map. Eric with a mistake. Let's go to Meep, who is only in third place, and this time we finally see also Nod with a good run. And Meep makes a mistake, he gets even overtaken by Eric. Then let's go to Nod, who is a challenging Ender. And even though he gets a better turn, he tries now 29, not 38. And Ender is the only guy besides Meep that was able to win rounds. And this pushes him to second place here. Despite him definitely being the slowest player on the first map and struggling with the pace compared to the other players. Those two first places that he got when Meep had a bad round, <laughs> those really help. I mean, his time was also faster than any time that Meep was driving on this map. Meep won with slower times as well. So Ender was definitely much stronger on the second map and he used it to win at least then these two rounds. So good, good point score for him there. He also had a second place additionally to these uh, two winning rounds. Yeah, now the question is, can not who is currently at 31 points only, maybe catch up a little bit again? Due to finalist status, he is not really out of the fight, and due to me winning so many rounds, it is only 10 points from not to Eric, and you can gain 10 points in one single finalist round, where the others are finalists, and when not beats them there, he immediately will catch up. He of course with that bad start into the match, he needs some time now to get into it. But there were of course maps like the first map, he was better than Ender. Overall looking faster, couldn't really put it into a point gap though. Because Meep and Eric were also a bit better than him. So the third map by Kamakaze SCL Machiato. Uh, the Didimania record again uh, by Meep with a 103.81. We see Eric in second place with an 83, very close. Ender is in fifth position and not is not in the top five. But I don't know if they maybe also train more in offline. Every player does this differently. Okay, not gets around the corner. But there he was, not at the apex and lost time to the other players. Currently in fourth position. And we have the first mistake and it's by me. So this is now the chance for the other three players to win a round again. 
Is it again Ender who takes it, not makes a mistake as well, and might get overtaken by Meep? We move over to the battle for the first place. So far how the match went, it will be Ender who takes it, but Eric has the lead for now. But a very small one of course. Makes it bigger now. We have one more turn. This is Eric's chance to finally get a 10 pointer and he gets it with a 103.9 as well. So that's a very good time by Eric. And uh, with that it deserved first place and very helpful in the battle for second overall. Both him and Ender are now tight in points. Meep is 20 points ahead. Meep definitely after his very strong start with... What the fuck? <laughs> Holy moly, what did happen to not? <laughs> yeah. Despite his good start with four wins out of the first four rounds, he definitely struggled to do well afterwards. He was even a bit lucky that he won two rounds on the previous map. So he still scored decent there. And others didn't really get much closer. But now it's time for me to, to win some rounds again. For a moment I thought he might do a full clean sweep, but of course, it seems like the first map was just a better map for him. And these maps, others can definitely challenge him much more by pace. <laughs> but he takes advantage from such rounds and Eric throws away. Like, this is such a bad round. Where is the battle? Here, Ender takes the second place out of Eric, not again in last. And it was so easy. It was so easy for not, for example, to get good points now, but exactly in this round, he's far behind with a crash. And Eric had the first place. Ender also far behind, and then he ends up in only third. And not lost at all in the start. You remember how he just dropped down. And then it's such a shit round afterwards. Very unfortunate for him. Ender with the first bigger mistake now. Falling down. The order. And Meep also with a mistake. And not... What the fuck is he doing? Oh, this is not a knot that I know. Not just DNF'd. Also it looked like he wouldn't get around the corner there. Um, but yeah, a small touch there wouldn't have been a big issue. Meep and Ender already had crashes and I think with a release he would have made it around. But before even anything happened, he just DNF'd. Uh, this is very confusing to be honest. Anyway, the level of the grand final is shrinking a little bit at the moment. We have another very bad round where only one driver survived and three players crashed. The time is of course good by Eric. He would have won probably even without crushes from the other players. Meep takes the second place. Still good points for him to uh, keep the lead. Eric and Ender again equal now. But I don't know what Nod is doing. Like why is he DNFing? That is really not the Nod I know. Like the whole performance in this final so far. It's different than what I'm used to see from him. But the fact that he DNF'd now, yeah, it's of course not great. It's a sign of that he gives kinda up into in, in this match here. Well, who knows? Now he's doing good in this round. Maybe he just needed this one round break. Of course, it's the three lost points, and he could have gotten second there as well. But this is a great round so far for him. Maybe he can actually win and get his first 10 pointer in this grand final. He definitely has a bit of a lead to work with, so all the chances on his side. Meep and Eric battling for the second place, Meep just with the overtake. He is not far away from Nod, he might also snipe there. That would be then definitely unfortunate for Nod if that happens, but it won't happen. Nod is taking it with a 104.04 .04 and finally a 10 pointer, well needed because Due to his DNF and last places and Ender and Eric also winning rounds, he now dropped far behind them.
<laughs> you can stop your Eric, nice score. Yep, 69 for Eric. Meep at 93. So now the thing is, if Meep would win again all four rounds on this map, I doubt that this will happen to be honest. Because usually uh, uh, in the second rotation, the map can go very different to the first rotation, even though it looked like the pace and the positions are kind of set in stone. I doubt that Meep will win all four rounds, but if he manages to do it, he will win the grand final on this map. If he doesn't do it, then he would need to win the grand final on the second map, where he was definitely struggling. He won two rounds still on it, but he was pace-wise struggling, which means it might be not too easy for him to actually win the grand final. Because the others could catch up on the second map towards him. But let's see. All eyes on Meep. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. That requires a perfect run from here on if he wants to win this. He is surely going for it now. Okay, he gets one crash from Nord. Okay, Meep fucked up this corner. He didn't hit the apex, he lost no more time. It is very unlikely that he will win. The win will go to either Ender or Eric. Eric looks stronger on this map in the first rotation, looked a little bit faster. And just Meep denied him to win more rounds. Now it's a tight fight here between Ender and him. Side by side into the last corner with a drift. And the winner will be, I think, Eric? No, it's Ender. Ender takes it again ahead of Eric, which is, of course, very good for Ender and will almost tie up the score again. Yeah, Meep only in third, so he will not finish it off on this map. Not with another mistake. They're gonna spectate not now. Currently in last place, battling with Ender for third. Eric is ahead of Meep. Might deny him the first place. Meep will also go wide here in this corner. Will of course go for more exit speed. Oh, Eric with a small mistake in his line, so everyone is catching up. So very close again. Between basically everyone. Only Ender is slightly bit behind. And Meep is actually taking the round with a point fifteen, and we have a tie between Nod and Ender, and I can tell you that Ender is getting, of course, the six points here. Why does he get that? Uh, he uh, has the better match time. He won the first uh, round. I'm not 100% sure if the first round was faster than what I drove now in their tie. But if it was, then this is the decide why Ender got it. Unfortunate for not, of course. A third place is similar to fourth place. It's just a one point difference. It's basically last. It will be very difficult for him. He would need to deny Eric and Ender when they become fine with multiple rounds in a row in order to catch that up. Very unlikely to happen. But of course also the other players can have bad momentum at some point and not get a round through. But at the moment it does not look good for Nod. In this round he is in third place again and Eric, no way, and then it's Ender in second. What the fuck happened here? Also Eric, who was first, fucked up the very last corner and ends up in last. Ender, who was last, gets up to second. That was Nod's chance to take a second place, but then again Ender is denying him that. 
And that came out of nowhere. He must have had like the perfect last corner. And Meep takes of course the victory thanks to Eric's fail. And this means that Meep is now at 117 points. So he will become finalist after this round when he needs to finish. But then we will have a map switch and he needs to finish it off on the next map. Also, the other players are able to catch up points on Meep now, because even if Meep wins, he's only really gaining 3 points from 117 to 120, and the others can gain more points. Meep can only try to deny them a 10-pointer. Currently, however, not is getting the 10-pointer. This is not a big issue for Meep, though. Nice time by not. 0.08, fourth Daddy Mania record for him. And he denies Meep a first place. Doesn't matter for Meep now. But at least not gets uh, a bit closer again to third place. Uh, Meep can definitely live with it when he's getting second. It's good for him that it's not who is first and not uh, Eric or Ender. Who are of course still very close together. 89 points for Ender. Safe. So one warm up again and then Meep in his finalist status needs to win a round before the others catch up to him in final status. And it might be not too easy for him on this track, it depends. He won twice here because other people crashed. If such a round does not appear, if people do not crash for him, then pace wise he is actually a little bit struggling despite him having the Daddy Mania world record. Also in this warm-up you see again Eric and Ender ahead of him, so he seems to be just a tiny bit slower in round space and needs to rely on either having a personal very strong round or needs to rely on the other players to make a mistake. Which happened in the first rotation, but it might not happen now. Only a 48 in the warm-up for me, of course it's only warm-up, but it would have been only third. So all eyes on Meep for his finalist attempt. Number one. He says he's kinda nervous. He was always a bit behind here in the start. This time he is closer though. Goes a bit wider, has a bit more speed than the other players, and he's moving into the lead here, but only like a little bit. Ah, he gets one crash by Ender, now it's only Eric. Not is slower than Meep on this track, pace wise. Ooh, he went a bit wide in one part of the corner, which means that Eric is back in the fight. Will Meep take it? Eric has a slight lead. Now Meep with the inside line. The last break trick will decide. It's super close and it is Meep taking it with 200 set of Eric. And the point 26 is also the fastest time we've seen on this map yet, I think. Ender's point 2 was a bit slower in the first rotation. And Meep takes it in his first finest attempt. The first finest attempt is usually the easiest to get through. If that battle would have been lost for Meep, and then he starts making also a crashed round and so on. Then he can go into such a bad momentum where others can catch up. But of course, they still have 30 points to go for. So they really needed to deny him many rounds. And also some rounds on the next map. But yeah, he used his first chance and now we have only three players left. Not Ender and Eric and Eric with a mistake. Now of course 10 points are up for grabs. Now people can actually get these 10 points easily without Meep being there. Um, so since he's now gone it's more important to do well because now you have a bigger chance to uh, make bigger point gaps to, to your opponents. And <laughs> funnily this is exactly the moment where not 
wins the round because both Ender and Eric make mistakes and you see the point gap from Nod is only 20 points because he got now a few 10 pointers and there's the next one and now it's only 13 points to Eric. So now is the time where it matters and if now Nod starts to do well he can catch up all that or at least become finalist right after they are. Oh, he gets an auto slide though at this landing. I guess this was just a bit unfortunate there. Puts him into last place. And in the front we have the battle between Ender and Eric. Side by side. You could nicely see how Ender was uh, pressing the brake button a bit longer than Eric in this one turn. But Ender with another mistake here in the middle of the map and this time it will be Eric. If he does not make a mistake he will take this round and another 10 pointer. Not is not able to catch up and overtake Ender. So Eric with the 10 points. Well needed, he will pass. Ender now by one point. a little bit behind. One and a half cents behind Northern Ender. Ender crashed not twice in the section. We will truly try to not do it a third time. And that works out for him. Not didn't really hit the apex in the first part, but he stays in the lead and has a nice angle through this corner. However, Ender was catching up a little bit to him. Good left drift though for Nod. If he hits this last part, oh, Ender hits it better in Nod dropping to last place, from first to last. And it is Ender taking the victory instead and Eric the second place. Very unfortunate round for Nod. This was his chance to catch up more points. Now it is instead Ender taking the 10 points and with that being ahead of Eric again. And we have another map change. On this map, Eric looked very strong. Very strong. The situation, situation is as follows. Eric needs a first place to become finalist. Ender needs a first or a second place. So there is a high chance for Ender to be the only finalist. There's a small chance for Eric to be the only finalist. The most likely scenario, I would say, because I know that Eric is good on this map, would be that both become finalist. It just requires not to be last and Eric to win, which pace-wise could happen. There's of course also the chance that Nod takes a first place. Eric second and Ender third. In this case, which would be quite funny, there would be no finalist. That would be very, uh, very good for Nod. Also, he is exactly at 90 points, so in theory, if he would win all four rounds on this map, then he would snipe both players on this map still. Eric's monitor turned off. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering what he's doing there. Alright, here we go. So now the eyes on Eric, because he needs a first place. If he wants to win, if he wants to get into the final status. And the first mistake happened. Which is by not. 
And if we have exactly this outcome, then we will have a double finalist situation. For Ender it is of course important to deny Eric here, because then Ender has one round longer where he's the only finalist. But as I said, pace-wise Eric looks very strong on this map. And he is showing that in this first round. One of four point oh two, another great time by him. Ender gets the second place that he needed in order to also become finalist. It was of course also important for him to uh, avoid making a mistake when trying to uh, overtake Eric and falling behind not not being finalist. That would be bad. Now the pressure is on Eric because he's the favorite on this map. This might be Ender's chance to take this round. Maybe Eric will make a slight mistake here because he is in the favorite situation, has a bit more pressure to deal with. Or is it not? Now it's his time of course. If he wants to become second place in the end then he would need to win all the rounds from here on. And he had a good round here in the first rotation. He won a round on this track. And so far he is denying both of his opponents. So far Ender in last place, but it might be that both Eric and Not crash in the battle against each other and then Ender would be there. Both will need to risk this part and Not does crash it, which gives Eric the opportunity to win, but does he know that he's now in first? He gets it. With a 104.14 he will take the second place overall in the Kenyan Solo Championship. Now we have Ender as the only finalist left. And due to not being in third place once again, he still needs the same amount of first places to win it on his own hand. So nothing has changed in the Situation looks very grim for him. It's very unlikely that Not would win so many rounds in a row against Ender. I think he will give up at this point as well. <clears throat> nah, he continues driving this time. But Ender deserves here the third place with his performance as well. Deserves a podium position. He realized that he's far ahead. At least I think that his horn was on purpose. Seems to save it also a little bit. Keeps the lead towards not around 8 tenth, not with another mistake. And Ender takes third. GG. So Meep is taking the win here in the solo competition. He was the favorite and he delivered in the final. Eric takes the second place and Ender third. Tomorrow at this time at 9 p.m. will be the final in the team championship. Uh, I will be then at home. So I could also cast that.